Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we're going to be taking Sadie, the donk, back to TMS, Total Motorsports Solutions, here in Mobile, Alabama, to get the tune smoothed out. Because right now, I am not happy. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and slap the new wheels on there after they do... Uh, I don't know if they're going to street tune or dyno tune, but if they dyno tune, I think I'm going to slap the new wheels on there. So... Y'all stay tuned for that. Um, what else do I want to tell y'all? This should be a pretty long video because um, I'm going to be trying to do a few things. Not only am I going to get the cartoons, but I think I'm going to give y'all a rundown on the F-150 sound system as well. It's pretty dope. It's 218s. I forgot how many watts, but uh, pretty kick-ass. So, yep. Y'all stay tuned. Girl, what you doing? I'll get you on camera. <laughs> I love you. I love you, baby. I don't know why bro but every time I load this thing I get uncomfortably close it is a hot one mm, all right y'all so I got her strapped down let me see let's do this got her all strapped down you know nice and safe Anybody watching this, whether they're thinking about getting into the donk racing or whatever, like, make sure y'all are uh, strapping down your vehicle safely. And if you're traveling across state lines for money, according to DOT specs, bro, because I'd hate to see a wreck or hear about a wreck happen due to inadequate strapping and tie downs of the material of the car or whatever so oh girl come here let me see wow come here come here lizzie let me see it's so long <laughs> wow oh my goodness mixed excellence <laughs> that's what that is high five <laughs> Sir, what are we doing? I wish y'all can see how massive this thing is. It don't make no sense. Alright y'all, we made it. That's a nice clean old Corvette pace car. Nice. Well, like sister companies but um 
that's where I'm taking it to right here. TJ over here at TMS. That's us, us over there. Terry. Let me unload the car and I'm gonna see what TJ's talking about in a second. Go ahead, big dog. Tell me something. Man, it's beautiful. Man, it's beautiful. Uh, on the school self trail on Instagram, man. Y'all check me out. Matter of fact, y'all go check me out on YouTube, man. The number you heard one. the man. Bro, the number 73, man. Y'all go check out that bad ass 73 bird I got, man. You see his contact name, 73 bird. Go check out my boy, man. It's kind of a sad day when I gotta drop her off because that means I can't drive it. You know what, baby? We're gonna get you right. Dirty hands and cleaner money, right? Part of the dirt, the, uh, the rain kind of made everything mud for. You know, raining for five days straight, so. That's good, buddy. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. First part is kind of hard to see, but this right here. This connector is bad. Like, replace the TPS, but uh, at some point this got hit by the belt uh, because the six red belt's coming apart. It broke that connector. This is what they're supposed to look like. Supposed to have a plastic shield on them with that yellow uh, uh, boot. And that Yours, boot wasn't on there? The boot wasn't on there and the shield's gone, so it wobbles. The okay. vibration will cause it to act up basically. So I'm gonna cut that harness off and I'm gonna splice in that brand new connector. That way we have a nice see like Cool. So Alright. This one locks in there. I got you. A lot more positive. Right, I heard and it's snap. waterproof. Yeah. That's not no longer waterproof. Now basically your belt, <laughs> as you can see there, uh, the bottom of that hose, the belt's been beating up that hose. Right. Because it's right. you see it's all chafed on the inside edge. Mm -hmm. So at some point something Dang. was misaligned. It may still be misaligned and I might find it today, but um it, mm -hmm. it ate up your belt. So that's mm -hmm. been beating up that hose, it beat up your TPS harness and ripped all that up and so that uh that ended up causing you some problems. So that was basically what was going on. I mean, nothing really in the tune. It was just, right. it couldn't tell where you were with the throttle pedal, so it was just bouncing around. I got you. I got you. completely behind the green one which means we have to take the lower belt off to be able to even think about replacing the belt that's broken dang it so it's a little bit of a process but nothing crazy it's just annoying back from driving it what was going on with it was uh the tps problem we had the bad tps and the wire harness got hit by the belt so basically your transmission couldn't see where your throttle was so it was causing it to kind of hunt for gears bounce around between whatever gear you were in and whatever gear it thought you needed to be in so got that taken care of no more issues with the gears also cleaned up the tune a little bit as far as the fueling and everything it's running pretty strong um I mean, if you want to drive it real quick and confirm, 
turn, but it's I'm uh driving. driving on that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about that. I'm just glad it wasn't the tune now. Yeah. Because that's yeah, what it I was thinking. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. You were telling me what was going on with it. I had a pretty good idea of what was uh, causing the problem. but she's running great now. Take her home. Till next time, y'all.